and replaced with a less expensive alternative, as Len Tingle reports. It really was the Hogwarts Express steaming into York Station today. Released from its filming duties, the veteran locomotive is doing a daily excursion this summer from western North Yorkshire to Scarborough. It's proving a popular attraction, with Potter fans from all over the country taking the trip. Among them today, a man who could wave his political wand and make millions of pounds used to promote the county's holiday industry disappear. Well, I think um, I'm not the bloke who wants to talk about the countries. Everybody else who wants to ask me about them. Um, I'm actually here because I'm in the middle of trying to draft up a new direction for our tourism in Britain. Whatever you want to do, whatever your budget, there's a great deal going on in Yorkshire. This is the sort of thing that public money pays for. And according to Welcome to Yorkshire, the rebranded name of the county's tourist board, it's working. Spending in tourism in Yorkshire is up by 13% last year, and that's against a national figure of 4%. Um, so we've outperformed the rest of the UK significantly. And the overwhelming message coming back is that Welcome to Yorkshire is one of the big successes, uh, and uh, not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. We can't pretend that there is no crisis, there clearly is. What I'm here to do is to try and find out which bits we can, you know, which bits we can preserve and where perhaps there are things that don't need to be done or can be downsized. But the important thing is to make sure that we keep the bits that work and that uh, they're still there next year and the year after. So as the Minister completes his fact-finding mission, it'll be September before he comes forward with any conclusions. And at that time, the holiday industry in Yorkshire will be concerned that they're not going to see their government support cut. Len Tingle, BBC Look North, Scarborough.